Here at GCN, we try all cycling disciplines. We've done bicycle polo, we've raced retro bikes, we've raced modern bikes, we've raced up mountains, and we've done everything in between. But the one thing we haven't tried is cyclable. Now, I've caught wind that we've got some world championship riders around Bath at the GCN HQ. So it's time I wing it over there and get to a leisure center. <sighs> Let's go. I'm here at Bath Leisure Centre to learn all about cycle, well, what it is and how to play it. Now, I know nothing about it, but a quick Google search did not put my mind at ease. This sport looks seriously difficult. It's all about bike handling. Do I have the skills to be able to manage the bike and the ball? So I'm here at Leisure Centre in Bath to find out more about cycle ball and learn from the pros. Welcome to the world of cycle ball. I've got to say, first impressions of this sport looks genuinely terrifying. We're in a small space in a leisure center, fixed gear bikes, and a pretty solid ball made of horse hair. And these guys are making it look really easy. I'm, well, I doubt I'm gonna look as good as that, but I'm gonna give it a good go. Now, Cycle Ball came about back in 1893, and it was brought about by a German-American, and it's become quite popular. I mean, hugely popular in Europe, and here we've got world champions. So I'm hoping, well, I'm not getting hit by the ball and then I can grab them to learn a bit more about the sport. I'm with Stefan, who's come over from Austria. He started cycle ball when he was five years old. So this, what well, looks like a completely not ordinary bike to any of us cyclists out there, but this is a pure and simple cycle ball specific bike. And I guess you're pretty used to riding one of these. Yeah, I used to it. So. Yeah. <laughs> what are the first few steps for me to try and learn how to ride one? Because for first instance, the saddle's meant to be here. Yes. And the bars are meant to be down here. Normally, yeah. And there's meant to be two brakes that you're missing. Yeah, you see, so it's completely different and yeah. I think the most important at first is to not sit on the saddle because then your wheel will go up. So, so where do I have to sit here? More or less, yeah. Or you can stand up, but at first I would sit here and then take care, you can drive backwards and forward. So as soon as you go pedaling, you need to pedal. You cannot make this and then just roll it, it's you fixed. have to pedal, it's yeah. fixed. So yeah. So the first thing I guess is to learn to ride the bike because it will handle differently to a traditional bike. Yeah. So, and then we will think about the ball. Yes. Okay. Here it goes. Uh, don't hold your breath, team. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, you're fine. There you go. First impression of riding this bike is that it's, it's really light on the front end and it's all about balance. A bit like a track rider, I guess. You've got to just kind of feel the bike under you and make sure you can track stand because track standing becomes incredibly important in this, yeah, this game. It is. And so. So then do you, do, you, do you spend the whole time standing up then? Yeah, more or less, yes. So try to be a little bit more flexible on the bike, yes. Going oh, like okay. this. Yeah, perfect. It's so nimble under you. It's like a BMX. <laughs> it is. You can try to put up your wheel, front wheel. Yes. <laughs> Why is it important to lift the front wheel? To shoot. Actually, okay. shooting with lifting it and turning it, and that's a where you shoot the ball, so it's very important to know how to lift the wheel. Can we see, see you shoot the ball? Yes. When you want to shoot the way down here, you're coming from, from this side. And then, important thing, you shoot with the back side of the wheel. Like, you're going there, lifting it, and then turn it like this. Okay. So, normally, most of the people when starting, they're just doing something like that. But this will not work. Okay, you get the ball moving like this, 
but this will not work. You will never get a good shot. So going there with the back wheel and then turn it like this. Okay. Right. Okay. Not normally I'm used to keeping my front wheel straight. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, and this could end badly. Keep in mind to turn it back again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's bloody harder than it looks. This is how you do not shoot a cycle ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, it's safe to say that, in my mind, bikes weren't designed to hit balls, but this bike is close to it. It makes it slightly easier. You've got the higher handlebars. You've got the saddle back here to enable the bike to kind of go into a wheelie, enabling you to hit the ball with that front wheel. Yes, that's right. Wah! <laughs> well, I mean, at least I'm hitting the ball. I, I think that's better than I thought I was gonna do. Let me give you a quick rundown of cycle ball. It's played with balls like this, which are actually pretty solid, and that's so they don't bounce around. They're made from horse hair. Now the game, is played by four people on the pitch, and that's two people per team. You have one goalie that can come out the goal, but he's majority able to stay within the goal and track stand. You can't touch the ball with your feet, otherwise it's a foul. And if you put your foot down on the floor, you've got to go back to the start line before engaging with the game. And if I'm honest, the rules are the easy thing. The difficult thing is hitting the ball with your bike and riding your bike. So I, th I think the one downfall to cycle ball is that you, you may go through a few spokes. I wouldn't say bikes are designed to hit balls with their spokes, but nevertheless, it's become a pretty big sport. And I guess the spokes give it some bounce as well, creating a lot of amount of energy and these balls actually are pretty solid. So Stefan, what are the four primary skills that you need to learn when playing cycle ball? You need to learn how to shoot. Shoot. You need to learn how to track stand. Track stand. To skid. To skid. And have fun. And ultimately have fun. After all, it is a game. Uh, a scary one at that. So my next skill is skidding without brakes. Oh. <laughs> That's harder. What are your top tips to track standing? I think just put the handlebar on here a little bit into the, in this position, and then also try to put your hands away from the handlebar. And before you fell off, always keep in mind you're not allowed to fall off, so before you fell off, just keep going. Ah! Hold on, take one. Oh! The foot which is in front, you will put the handlebar there. So I've got the balance point, it's the, the, hard, the hard bit is taking the hands off the bars. Go a little bit more into, yeah, in this position. Ah. So this is, this, is, this is the goal, is it? And you would have to you, you use, can use your hands. hands. Oh, do you have to catch it? Just to catch it, yeah. Nice one. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hard. Breather. So while I'm taking a slight bit of a breather from the indoor game of cycle ball, I thought I'd I'll tell you a little bit about the cycle ball bike. And this is it in all its glory. I mean, it's a lot different to a normal road bike that I'm used to riding and probably a lot different to the bikes you've seen. As you can see, the saddle is actually on the back of the bike over the rear tire, and you don't have that seat post that we're all used to seeing. Now this bike is designed for it, so we've got the high bars made out of steel, this is an alloy frame, and we've got a carbon seat post coming out the back. So the pedals are slightly different to what we're used to. These are actually rubber pedals designed so you don't injure yourself or other people. The wheels are alloy rimmed, and then the spokes are pretty generic spokes. Uh, I do have seen two being broken already today. The tyres, well, they're 26 millimeter tyres, pumped up to about 80 psi, so not solid. The tyres are also not that grippy, so it allows you to skid. The gearing, you've got a 24 tooth on the front and a 22 on the back. It's fixed, and that's about it. The cycle ball bike in all her glory. So Stefan, 
you've taught me a little bit about cycle ball and I've got to say I'm enjoying every minute of it. I find it really, really, really difficult. And the thing I want to know is, have you always been a cyclist? Are you a road rider and mountain biker? I've always been a cyclist, I always play cycle ball. It is quite competitive between Germany, Austria and a lot more European countries. And it's also a UCI sport, isn't it? It is, yeah. There's a UCI World Championship every year. There's also a World Cup Series every year. And yeah, the European countries are pretty good in it. But there are also teams from Asia, teams from Canada, so... And I've got to say, you've taught a load of the kids inside how to play and they're coming on leaps and bounds and I guess it, it's one of those sports that I think you can really grab hold of because you can always get better. It's a skilled sport, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is. And there's always the opportunity to go on, on big tournaments because not that many people playing it and yeah, telling that those kids then they can compete at a world championship. It's Fighting for a UCI rainbow jersey. It is, it is. There you go. Right, it's about time we get back in and I put my skills into practice. Cheers, Stefan. I'll be taking that as well. <laughs> so I've just learned a few skills. So I've learned the basics, which is track standing, how to shoot the ball, getting there. Uh, also how to skid, so knowing how I, can, how I can stop and try and control the ball. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to take on some of the cycle ball players at their own game. And uh, well, luckily I've got Stefan to help me. So, I'm an honorary Austrian now, team. Right, let's give this a go, shall we? Get it, get it! Get it, get it, get it! Shoot! Ah! Oh, oh. I got a hole in my bike! <laughs> Here, mate! Here, I'm attacker! Yeah, yeah, up the front, up front! Yes! <laughs> Sorry, put the foot down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm too aggressive. Is that what you say? Go for it! Go for it! Oh! Oh! Get out front! Good save, good save! <laughs> ah. Yeah, that's it, all right. <laughs> Nailed it! Well played! I'm on time, my way. So there we have it. I've genuinely enjoyed every moment of learning cycle ball. And if you want to know anything more about cycle ball, then let us know in the comment section below. But I've got to say thank you to all these guys who have flown from Austria and Germany to teach us more about this amazing game. If you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do is hit that thumbs up button. And uh, well, let me know in the comment section below how you thought I got on. Fed say I need a bit of practice. Right, you ready team? It's a bit scary having these guys here. Oh, <laughs>